I can write it out of this, or two and five in brackets, I could do. During 2018-19, around 500 secondary schools in England are engaged in the Maths Hub's Teaching for Mastery programme. More are joining in 2019-20. At the forefront of the programme are Mastery Specialists, who are school-based teachers on a three-year programme. In the first year, they concentrate on developing their own teaching. The next year, on their department teaching, and in the third year, they help other schools. Those people start to think about their own classrooms initially, and then they go on for the, in the second year to think about what, what things need to happen in the department, how do I work with colleagues in my department, but also things around schemes of work and that kind of thing. Um, what needs to happen to really embed Teaching for Mastery across the whole department? In their third year, they then go and work with teachers from two other schools, and at that point, it's not about them going out and telling other people how to do it, but it's trying to en enable others to go through the very similar processes to those that they've gone through to become a mastery specialist. Once a term, the mastery specialists get together for a day in regional groups to share experiences and gradually move their thinking and their teaching forward. It is quite a long process, but I think it's important that if we're thinking longer term, we have to have some things that are sustainable. And we'd rather have something where we take things more slowly with the mastery specialists and they have opportunities to really think things through for themselves before trying to work with other people. In the third year, when the mastery specialist supports the two other schools, their specific input is tailored according to what the other schools, with their unique situations, want or need. It might involve um, being in some lessons together and, and, and uh, maybe planning those lessons together and thinking about what happened in the lessons. It might be staff meetings and things, department meetings that they might run together and collaboratively. Um, it could be looking at the scheme of work and thinking about helping to do that. The focus though will be not the specialist doing that for the department, but the specialist helping the department think through what they need, what's relevant for them and helping them to do that. With the underlying principles of mastery as a platform, each school is exploring how best to turn theory into practice, tailoring change to local conditions, but with a number of common themes, including moving more slowly through the initial teaching of new concepts, careful design of the examples, questions and exercises given to pupils, careful use of concrete resources, manipulatives and a range of other representations to develop and embed understanding, encouraging pupils to discuss, ask questions and weigh up different methods of tackling problems, teachers co-designing lessons to ensure consistency of teaching across a department. It's early days in most schools, but there's much to be optimistic about according to those teachers engaging with their maths hub like here in Sussex. Our departmental practice has changed um, in the main with the scheme of work which we redesigned. So instead of repeating year seven subjects in year eight, uh, we took the whole thing and doubled the amount of time we spent on each topic and took the whole thing a great deal slower. So for example, instead of spending three or four weeks on fractions, decimals and percentages in year seven and then repeating it in year eight and never getting into any depth, uh, we will spend seven weeks on it in year seven. Um, so that was the biggest thing that we did to start with. That's led to everything being taken at a much slower pace. It's allowed us to teach everything in much more depth. Uh, each lesson has a much more narrow objective where we're focusing on one small step. Everything is being taught in really small bite-sized chunks, which means that students are now able to access material that might not traditionally have been taught to them, possibly because they find maths more challenging. Um, we've seen really, really remarkable um, effects, actually. It's been quite surprising. We've become very much more focused on single topics. So whereas before, um, the example I was given earlier was negative numbers, and we might try and do all negative numbers in one lesson, actually the mastery approach is saying focus on one element of that and do lots of kind of procedural variation where we're trying to look at different ways of doing the same sorts of questions. So we might just look at adding and taking away negative numbers. Whereas traditionally we might have done adding, taking away, dividing, multiplying and, and really kind of overwhelm students in one lesson. We've spread that out over now three or four lessons to try and really embed that 
understanding and, and try and get everyone to understand it rather than just rushing through topics. I think the advantages for students following a mastery scheme where lessons have been developed as a series and that everyone has taught the same lessons means that all students can achieve, all students have got that consistency and they're all getting the same deal. So when we are doing interventions or when we are moving students, they, you know, it's not completely different from one room to the next. When you wander around the department, you should see that everyone is getting the same deal and then that brings that consistency and it really is like a maths department rather than Johnny and all the different teachers doing their own thing. So another challenge that we found um, was the use of concrete resources. So in primary, like I said, sort of like as a, a sweet shop, you've kind of got all the primary um, concrete resources available in all the classes and they're in abundance. Um, in secondary, it wasn't like that. So um, as we went out and bought a class set for everybody um, so that they had something, some of the manipulatives to use to support this kind of way of teaching. Um, then that in itself presented a new challenge, which was that we had to give the staff confidence to use those resources. Um, and so we've developed a lot of training looking at concrete resources and we've used some inset days to do that as well. We've just been involved in teacher research group this year, which means that Jack and I have come to I think three or four sessions where we've met with other maths teachers. We have been really largely introduced to mastery in depth. Before I think I had a slight idea of what it was, but not very much. And just talking about that with other staff and seeing where they are has been incredibly useful. And so we've taken that back and in our lessons we're starting to do it. And it's actually from that that we've said to our head of department and to our SLT, we think this is really valuable and could make a big difference in our school. And, and SLT have brought that on board and so they've allowed us to change the scheme of work for year seven next year. As with all maths hub work, the objective is not to find any short term fixes, which may not last, but to put down strong roots both in teachers' practice and in pupils' learning, which will stand the test of time. I believe that it's making better mathematicians. Whether that is making them better right now at passing tests is a different thing, but I think there's more to being a mathematician than passing tests. So uh, building those skills of conversation, of discussion, of exploration, m and makes a better mathematician in the long run. And yeah, I truly honestly believe that they will pass tests or exams in the long run uh, better than they would have done previously. It doesn't happen overnight and I think it's one of those things that uh, is exciting for, for departments, uh, exciting for colleagues and, and, and that conversation about uh, how and why and, 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 and what can we do in order to make it better uh, is, is, is looking at the different strategies of teaching uh, that's making them think well this is what I got into the job for in the first place. Uh, looking at how I can teach uh, as, as well as I can and to, ha and to help and support the, the pupils uh, rather than I'm just you know regurgitating a way that maybe I was taught or someone else has told me how I must do it uh, and I think that makes them uh, more motivated to explore even further about you know developing their craft.